We're approaching the three weeks, the nine days, Tisha B'Av, the time when we commemorate, think and mourn over the Churban Abayas, and think about the Averas that brought us to this, and the Tikkun that can redeem us from this. In Mitzrayim, the Rabbi Shalom said to Maishu Rabbeinu, Eya Asher Eya. I'll be with you in this tzara, I'll be with you in the future tzaras. And the Mephorshim learn out from here that Mitzrayim was the foundation, the prototype for all the Goliaths that would happen in the future. The Sasema says that the Golos Mitzrayim, that is the Yisrael, the foundation for all the Goliaths. And the redemption, therefore, from Mitzrayim. The Geula that occurred then is a prototype for all future Geulas. What was the Chet that brought to the Golas Mitzrayim? It's known that Chazal say when Avram Avinu said, Bama Edo, Kiarashena, there was this Mashahu Bimashu, this which we cannot even begin to fathom. This chuta saira of chasarn in amuna kivyocho that necessitated the golos. Chazal say elsewhere that it was the jealousy that the brothers of Yosef had for his brothers because he had the katanus pasim. They sold him down to Mitzrayim. That brought the Golos Mitzrayim. In fact, there are both reasons. The Golos came about because of a Pagam, a Chasoran in Amuna, and because of Sinas Chin. The redemption from Mitzrayim came about because the Yamen Bashem. They had a Muna in the Rabbi Nishalaylam, despite all of the suffering and the Golos of Mitzrayim, the bondage, the Shebet of Mitzrayim. They had faith, they had a Muna in the Rabbi Nishalaylam. And it came about, Chazal said, Bishil Dalit Varn Nigalu, and one of them is Shalai Dibru Loshan Hara. Because there was the Achtus. And in all future Goliaths, we see this recurring theme. Chazal say that the Bayes Rishon was destroyed because of the Gimel Averis Chamuris. One of those, of course, of Vaidazor. A lack of Amuna, Vaidazor. And Bayes Sheni, Sinas Chino. That recurring theme through all the Goliaths of lack of Amuna. Avoid Azor, Avoid Azor in its various forms, Sinas Chinam, Sinas Chinam in its various forms. That brought the Golas. The Geula is when that will be rectified. The Beis Alevi says that in the Achris Ayam and before Bias HaMashiach, there will be a terrible Tkufa of Kfira. A terrible Tkufa of Kfira. We see in our times, Rahman al that fear is rampant. And the Tikkun is to remain steadfast in the face of that fear. And the Chavetz Chaim says that the Tikkun and what will bring about Mashiach is if we're Mesach and the Chet of Loshan Hara. And those are the two recurring Chatoim. Those Chatoim and the Tikkun of those two. It's what is incumbent upon us in these days when we mourn the Chorban. To mourn the Chorban, to mourn the Chil Hashem and the destruction and the terrible suffering. But in addition, to take upon ourselves to be Mesakin, to Mesakin these Chatoim, with Tfila and Torah, the Shema, the Shem Shemayim. To be mesak in the head of sinas chinam of loshen haram. To foster achdus and klal yisrael, avas chinam, bezeshem, 
the Rabbi Shalom should give us the Siyat of the Shmai and the Kayach to be misakin these two Chatoim and to witness the Binyan Beis HaMikdash Bimhera